Authorities in Johannesburg are trying to clean up the city following a deadly blaze which recently killed more than 70 people, including 12 children in a hijacked building. The six-story building was taken over illegally and turned into an informal settlement. Hundreds of other buildings are in a similar state as they lack basic amenities, placing the lives of occupants at risk. CGTN's Julie Shire reports. Johannesburg is home to Africa's richest square mile, yet the inner city is fraught with crime, drugs and syndicates. Many desperate for housing fall prey to criminals running hijacked buildings. Florence House, opposite South Africa's Constitutional Court, was once a hospital. Residents now live in squalid conditions without proper maintenance or services. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice and uh, I don't have a, another shelter. I don't have another shelter. I want to build my life here and then maybe my life will change. I'm coming here for opportunity to working. Uh, still now I don't have working somewhere. I don't have money to rent. I don't have money to go somewhere. Electricity was cut off to the building on the morning of a visit by city officials. Inside the corridors are strewn with rubbish and puddles of water from leaking pipes. Wires and illegal connections are openly visible while residents sit in the dark without ventilation, waiting for the lights to return. The condition is not good, it's not good, it's smelling, well, it's smelling a lot here, it's not good at all. Even us, we are, not, we, are, we are not happy to stay here, but because we are not working, we don't have anything. Kids can't go to school now, we can't do washing, we can't give them food. They are not helping with anything here. The absence of proper security allows easy access to criminals and drug addicts. Residents say many have set up informal dwellings in the basement. Oh, we are not feeling safe yes, at all because of the people who are roping and other people who are passing outside here. So from there, but I'm living okay here because I've been here maybe 22 years. So that's why I'm relaxed here. City officials are trying to clamp down on buildings that have been illegally seized. But there's at least 500 buildings that have been hijacked in Johannesburg. And residents are being exploited every day. I want to propose that actually the day is a, a motion to saying that in all buildings where we can't find owners, is dilapidated and condemned by the EMS and the structural guys. We need to expropriate it without compensation so okay. that so that we're able to uh, and refurbish it and turn it into a low-cost housing. Authorities say they're facing an uphill battle trying to declare dilapidated buildings unsafe for dwelling. Johannesburg has a mammoth shortage of affordable housing and without alternative accommodation, residents cannot be evicted. Julie Shara, CGTN, South Africa.